All right, this is take two. The first one didn't work out so well, but I got to eat some trail mix, so I guess that's okay. We're continuing to work on solving real world problems um, using algebra, numbers and letters, to solve uh, real world situations. First video I made, uh, we just dealt with two things, two variables. This time we're working on three variables and how to use uh, substitution trickery to figure out problems like this. It's kind of fun. Here's how it works. I'm going to give you uh, this problem. We're going to work through it together. And then I'll give you a couple of sample problems to do on your own. And I'll give you the answer key. So we've got uh, some trail mix that has raisins, peanuts, and M&Ms in there. And here are the relationships between the uh, things. We've got 15 more peanuts than raisins. Let's go ahead and write that down. One strategy for solving big problems like this with lots of words in them is to break them into small pieces. Let's start here. 15 more than raisins. So, peanuts are 15 more than raisins. So there's that sentence written as an equation. Now let's go on. The number of raisins is, whenever you see the word is, in a sentence, in a math problem, that's the equal sign, okay? More, of course, is the plus sign. Half, you get the idea. The word of, by the way, is always uh, multiply. Okay. Anyway, raisins is four more than half. Four more than half the number of M&Ms. And I'm going to use the letter M to represent the M&Ms. It doesn't tell us anything else about the M&Ms, so we've got to leave it like that. Okay. Here's how we're going to solve this problem. Hopefully you understand the setup. Oh, and one more thing. There's 75 total pieces, which means peanuts, raisins, M&Ms, total 75. That means total there. Lots of different synonyms for the equal sign. We've got two of them going here, is and total, both mean equal sign. All right, so we want to uh, substitute to get a single variable. Single variable is a fancy way of saying one letter. Okay, so I think I want to have M be the one letter here because that's going to be the easiest thing and I always try to make problems that I'm working on as easy as possible. So, can I do P in terms of M? Meaning I want all M's in this so I can solve for M and figure out what else the uh, peanuts and the raisins are. Okay, so I can do P equals one half m plus four plus fifteen. See what I did there? We have our original equation up top. Let me get the red pen out. Raisins, fifteen more than the amount of raisins. Well if the amount of raisins is half of the M&Ms plus four, I can substitute that in right there for raisins. Okay? So that's what I did down here. That's the raisins, raisins plus 15, in terms of M, in relation to the M&Ms. Okay, so that's P. That's the peanuts, plus the raisins. That's the raisins. I'm just separating these things to hopefully make it easier to see. And then, of course, just the plain old M&Ms, and the total is 75. Next thing we're going to do is combine like terms. That means put all the same letters together, add up all the numbers. Then we're going to simplify. So I've got half of an M. I've got another half of an M. And I've got an M. That makes a total of 2M. I'm going to put all my numbers together. There's 4 plus 15 makes 19 plus 4 makes 23. 
And now it just looks like a nice simple single variable equation that we can solve. The solution to this is going to tell us how many M&Ms are in the trail mix. Then we're going to use that number substituted into our original equations at the top to figure out how many peanuts and how many raisins are in there. So it looks like we've got 26 M&Ms in here. I'm going to zoom out a little bit so we get the big picture. Okay. Now I need to go back up here and say, okay, so for the raisins, I need to take one half of the number of M&Ms and add four. That makes 13 plus four equals 17. 17 raisins, 26 M&Ms. And then finally, the number of peanuts is raisins plus 15. So 17 plus 15 makes 32. And here's our final proof is when I add those three answers together, it should total 75. So 32 plus 17 plus 26. And you guessed it, it does equal 75, so that's the answer. That's how you solve a problem like this, is we decide on some variables, write some equations that describe how the things relate to each other, then use substitution to get a single variable, to get one letter, and then once we have the solution to the one letter, we substitute that back up into some of our original equations, just like a, a Sudoku puzzle or any other puzzle like that, where once you have one answer, it's easy to get the rest of them. Here's another problem for you to do by yourself. Check that out. Mega Math, my band, my poor band. I write math songs. People don't like to download math songs. Ah, <sighs> so it's a hard time. The Pi album sold 24 less than double the number of volume albums. The Schedule has sold 13 more than half the number of Pi albums. Total sales, 317. How many of all three were sold? Pause the video, work it out using the strategies I just showed you, and then when you come back, we can compare and see if we got the same answers. Thank you. Welcome back. Here we go. Let's solve this. Zoom out for a little bit of room here. Pi album, volume, schedule. First, we need variables for everything. Pi album sold 24 less than double the number of volume. Then we have schedule sold 13 more than half the number of Pi albums. And that's all we know about this problem, other than if we add the three album sales together for Mega Math, the best math band ever. You should check them out and make this number go up. If we add all these things together, we get 317. We're going to use substitution for a single variable. Substitution to get single variable. Looks like the variable we should use is v because that's by itself. <clears throat> and we know pi, p, the pi album, in terms of v. So that means 2v minus 24 plus v plus 1 half 2v minus 24 plus 13 equals 317. Whoa, Mr. Witcher, what the heck is that? You might be saying, rightfully so, pi album is right there. How do I know that? Because this tells me those two things are equal, so I substitute. Volume album, simple enough. So there's our first two albums, which brings us to this. 
mass right here. Since we know that pi album is 2v minus 24, because this told us so, wherever I see a p, I can put 2v minus 24 in there, which is exactly what I did here. This is 1 half p plus 13, right? Do you see that? 1 half p plus 13 is exactly what s equals. So what we have here is pi volume and schedule equals 317. It just looks complicated, but it's really not. Trust me. Okay, now we need to uh, do some simplifying to get rid of parentheses here. So I'm just going to basically carry everything down. But 1 half of 2 is 1, and 1 half of negative 24 is negative 12. Now I'm going to put all the V's together. There's one, two, three, four of them. Then I'm going to put all the numbers together. There's negative 36, and there's plus 13. So that makes negative 23 equals 17. Now we finally got it to look like something we know how to do. So I'm going to zoom in for the big close. We're going to close it out here. Take the opposite of 23 to get the numbers on the right, the letters on the left. Divide both sides by 4. And I believe that's 85. Because 4 times 80 is 320. 85. So what that means is the number of volume albums sold was 85. Let's take that 85 back up to the original equation. Okay, that's my chair squeaking, by the way. Come on now. Take the 85 back up to the original equation, and let's figure this out for volume. So the pi album is 2 times the volume album, 24 less than that. That equals 146 pi albums sold. And we already have the volume album, which we think was 85. We just need schedule. Schedule equals 1 half of pi plus 13. Half of 146 is 73, plus 13 makes 86. Schedule albums, we're about out of room, but we have a chance to test this out. Because the three albums together should equal 317. Pi plus volume plus schedule. Is this going to be true? Let's simplify a little bit. And then use the calculator. Always check. This is true. So those are the correct answers. 85 volume, 146 pi, 86 schedule. Whew. Let's do one more. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. And on that farm, he had half as many cows as chickens. Whoa, sorry, you need to write this down and do it yourself. He also had four more chickens, then triple the number of pigs. If he had a total of 94 pigs, chickens, and cows, how many of each did he have? You got it. Hit the pause button, work it out, and I'll come back in a few seconds and uh, we'll work through it together. So long. Hello. Back at it. He had half as many cows as chickens. Okay, so cows equal half the number of chickens. 
He had four more chickens than triple the number of pigs. So chickens equals four more chickens than triple the number of pigs. And of course he had pigs. We want cows plus chickens plus pigs to equal 94. <clears throat> Let's start substituting, shall we? First of all, we have cows, which is half the number of chickens. Then we have chickens. <sighs> I changed my mind. I want to isolate this single variable because it's it's already by itself. Okay? I apologize for getting this off to a bad start. So we have pigs. We have chickens. And now we need cows. One half of three P plus four is ninety-four. Alright, so that's pigs. This is chickens, <clears throat> and this is cows. Because remember, cows were half the number of chickens, and chickens were 3p plus 4. Okay, so I can substitute those two things. So now cows are actually one half of 3p plus 4. That and that are equal. This says so right there. Boy, if you're still with me after that, I think we have a good chance of finishing this. Let's simplify. What's one half of three? One and a half. And what's one half of four? Let's put all of our numbers together. No, let's put all of our pigs together, shall we? Three, four, five and a half pigs. And then we've got four and two, makes six. I'm going to subtract six from both sides because we want letters on one side, numbers on the other. Divide both sides by five and a half. This is where I believe it would be handy to use decimals. And what is eighty eight? Divided by five and a half. Sixteen. I wasn't too sure about that with the five and a half there, but I think this is going to work out now. So if we have sixteen pigs, let's go back up to our original equation. Chickens equals triple the number of pigs plus four. Fifty-two chickens, sixteen pigs, and cows are one half the number of chickens. Makes twenty-six. Woo! Let's check this out. Cows plus chicks plus pigs equal 94. This is our final proof to test our answers out. We got 26 up there. We have 52 right there and 16 right there. Does that equal 94? You know it does, but it's important to go through the steps and show your work to prove it. And that is it. This is the longest video ever that I've made anyway. Thanks for watching, and I hope this makes sense. See you later.